man seems to ignore the fact that on this very planet, there are still people living in the Stone Age and practicing cannibalism. Four brave young Americans went there to make a documentary on life in the jungle, armed with cameras, microphones, and curiosity. He never came back. He never came back. Never came back. Sam have just moved to Santa Carla, California. They're about to discover its secret. Notice anything unusual about Santa Carla yet? No. It's a pretty cool place. If you're a Martian. Or a vampire. I'm a strange when you're a strange. So where are you? The fine nun? I'm your brother, Sammy. Help me! Stay back! Stay back! What's happening to me, Star? Get yourself a good, sharp steak. Drive it right through his heart. You're a vampire, Michael. Will you wait till Mom finds out, buddy? When a vampire buys it, it's never a pretty sight. Michael, they're coming! Oh, shit! <laughs> Maybe you had experienced any disturbances lately. 
happen? What kind of disturbances? I don't know what happens over this house. Never sensed anything like it. That thing is in there with my baby. There are hundreds. Now Steven Spielberg crosses a frightening new threshold into a world within our own. Its form is revealed. What is it? Its focus is clear. Poltergeist. It knows what scares you. The kids of Elm Street don't know it yet, but something is coming to get them. There's something out there, isn't there? You could just see cuts happen. What did that, Lieutenant? I don't know. Peter! There's a coroner got to say. He's in the jail and puking since he saw it. They're gonna kill me for sure. Did you do it? There was somebody else there. He was locked in a room with a girl who went in alive and came out in a rubber bag. No one knows where it came from or who it will visit next. Nancy, there's something wrong with you. You're imagining things. Nightmare on Elm Street. Ah! Do you believe in the boogeyman? No. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. She's the only one who can stop it. If she fails... I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. No one will survive. Help me, please! Help! Where are you? From Wes Craven, director of The Hills Have Eyes and Last House on the Left. A new masterpiece in fantasy terror. Nightmare on Elm Street. I have seen the future of horror. His name is Clive Barker. three other interviews to do before this party's over. Yeah, but they're not working on something that'll change the world as we know it. They say they are. Yeah, but they're lying. There is a limit 
even to the imagination. Human teleportation, molecular decimation, breakdown, and reformation is inherently purging. Where our greatest creations meet our deepest fears. Something went wrong, Seth. When you went through, something went wrong. You are about to go beyond that limit. Those weird hairs that were growing out of your back, I, I had them analyzed. But they were definitely not human. If you saw how scared and angry and desperate he is... I'm sure Typhoid Mary was a very nice person, too, when you saw her socially. No! You're afraid to be destroyed and recreated, aren't you? You're changing, Seth. Everything about you is changing. Oh, no. What's happening to me? Am I dying? I want to know what's going on. What does the disease want? It wants to turn me into something else. Oh, no. A fly. Got into the transmitter pod with me that first time when I was alone. Don't go back to it. It could be contagious. Uh, I'm afraid! Don't be afraid! No. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Mom and Dad, I've been at a sleepaway camp for almost three weeks, and I'm getting very scared. Welcome to sleepaway camp. Someone is watching you. Hey, Baba Reba! Someone is waiting for you. Someone wants to scare you to death. Turn it! Turn the wheel! Oh my God! Sleep away, camp. You won't be coming home. Vietnam-like resonance in my life. I went home, back home to Michigan. I slept on the floor of my room. There was a beautiful, comfortable bed. I slept on the floor of my bed for probably two months. And my mother was like, uh, quick question, Bruce, why are you sleeping on the floor? And I, and I started growing a beard, just it's some strange thing. I, I went feral when I went home. I went, well, that's how we would have done it in, in Tennessee. She's like, well, you're not there anymore. What, what's your problem? Snap out of it. I know that experience messed me up too. I couldn't I even speak about the horrors of the experience for <laughs> for weeks. I couldn't really tell anyone what had, I've never been able to really tell anyone the, the depth of the hardness of that experience, the levels of exhaustion. 
post-traumatic stress. It was. I swear to God. I think we, we each had a low-grade version of that. The whole aspect of being in Tennessee and that experience of living and working on nights and losing your mind in cold and in pain with no running water really set the set the tone and gave us the inspiration for what would be the final sequence in the movie. 